Once again, online users have been subjected to experiments without their permission. This time, it wasn't Facebook. Can't be Facebook because Rob told us it's down. Jeff, what's this all about? It's about OkCupid, okay and Jennifer Santich is here. Are you a member? Okay, Cupid? No. <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> Don't she's, get her in she's trouble. She's taken for. Um, you know, I, I am not a member, but it, just to give you an idea of how it works, it's kind of like Match.com. It's a dating website, tries to help people find love based on compatibility. And just to give you a reminder of what happened this week, company president Christian Rudder disclosed in a blog post that OkCupid okay had conducted experiments on its users, including a test to see whether its assessment of their matchability led to successful dating. And Rudder wrote, quote, we took pairs of bad matches and told them they were exceptionally good for each other. When we tell people they're a good match, they act as if they are, even when they are wrong for each other. So the update now is at least four legal experts said OkCupid's okay actions appear to be a violation of a provision in the FTC Act that prohibits unfair and deceptive practices by a company that results in misleading or harming consumers. Is this the first that you've heard of this uh, OkCupid okay experimenting or had you heard, on, heard about this earlier this week? I heard about it earlier this week. And what was your reaction to that? I feel like I have a, there's a lot of thoughts that I have. I feel like in this day and age, you have to read the fine print always. Right. So it's, they said that somewhere in online in the you know rules and whatever, it says you could be used as an experiment. What I don't like is that they told them that you were a match, you were compatible. So that's very deceptive. That's what I have a problem with. Right. Because with Facebook and Twitter, if they want to experiment on me and my posts, that's, that's fine, go, go have at it, those are my posts. But if I am uh, submitting myself to a service with the expectation that uh, they are going to match me with someone that I'm compatible with, right. and then they're actually doing the opposite to experiment with me, right. that's not good. But don't that's you think good. we have, it's like a natural selection process. We have that, it's like innate in us. So wouldn't you think that even if you, they said you were compatible, you would know that you aren't? You would think right away, like, right. oh, you're a smoker and I'm a non-smoker, but, but we're in love. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the uh, other thing that I wanted to, to bring up, and this is one that Dan thinks might get me in trouble, but it's not me. It's this guy <laughs> who did it. Okay, let's get that straight. It's a guy <laughs> with a beer gut, and he's proud of it. His pregnant wife was scheduled to do some sort of photo shoot, and she pulled out because she's embarrassed of how she looks, so he stepped in, took off his clothes, and, uh, you know, posed in this <laughs> way. Uh, Dan is already cringing. Oh, what? Why don't you no. like this, Dan? He's kind of making fun. You don't want to make fun in any way. You just want to be totally supportive. You won't get in trouble, Jeff, unless you do this with your wife someday while she's with child. And I child. wouldn't put it past him to do that. I <laughs> wouldn't be surprised, Jen, no. Are you no. saying I have a beer gut? No, I don't say that. Do I need to do some CrossFit with you? Is that what you're saying? No. Or would you be offended by that if, if your man stepped in to, to make you feel better about the situation? No, I mean, I, I see where he's coming from, and I think it's cute. I, I don't think that all of the husbands out there should start taking photos like these. I don't need to see any more like that, but right. I understand where he was coming from, and I think it's, um, it was nice of him to do that for his wife. I wanted to show you this, and I want to take you back down memory lane. 1988, the slam dunk championship. Michael Jordan jumped from the free throw line, made an incredible dunk. Look what this kid did. Gee, wow. Amazing. And you know what is really amazing? That's a high school kid. <laughs> Shelby McEwen goes to Oxford High School in Mississippi. He won this past weekend's Jordan Brand First to Fly Jumpman XX9 Dunk Contest. That was in Las Vegas. That kid just soared. That was incredible. Yeah. I think we definitely need to keep our eyes on him, right? Wow. Really good dunk, but I, I couldn't let that go without trying it for myself. So yesterday, uh -oh. Oh, no. I went to the basketball court, <laughs> outdoor basketball court, and Eight decided to... Uh, right. No, it, it was regulation <laughs> size, and I jumped from the free throw line, and I just wanted to show you how easy it is. <laughs> You're absolutely soaring. Yeah. Just incredible. <laughs> He's not going to get there, is he? Are you sure? I'm not going to make it. Are you sure I'm not going to get there? No, I'm not sure. But I'm, I'm still flying. I'm more sure. I'm still flying. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure now. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you only were halfway there. Well, here's the thing that is an outdoor court, and 
the kid did it on an indoor court. So the wind was right. against you. Well, the wind little, was in my face. Right. Little game on the floor. And it's harder to jump. But just so you know, I did make that shot. See? See it going in there? Right, but it wasn't a dunk. Uh, yeah. yeah. I tried. <laughs> uh -huh. I tried. You'll still put a in good a good effort. word for me with the Kings, right? I'll see what I can I do. I am available as a free agent now. Yeah. Good to know. I'm ready for the season. <laughs> Try it again sometime, Jeff, but one word, trampoline. Trampoline. There you go. Got it. There you go. My Jennifer, help. Jennifer you. and Jeff, thank, thank you. you both. <laughs> Rob, maybe he could have blamed it on the heat, you know, because it's so hot out there, he didn't get the lift that he normally would get. It was that stifling, oppressive yeah. heat that just that brought him it. down by about five feet. Yeah. You know, I thought the kids' dance moves at the end of the dunk were pretty darn good, too. Impressive. And then I thought Jeff's almost stuntman roll when he hit the ground there at the end <laughs> was pretty good, too. So, hey, nice effort. Thanks for sharing the video. Yeah.